Hey, welcome to Plants Are My Therapy and welcome to my home. My home is decades old and have seen, well, children and grandchildren. So my home is, is lived in. So this is the entrance to my home. This is the little niche or niche and this is my wall unit in my great room. I have sense of areas everywhere. All of my sense of areas have been uh, cultivated, have been uh, divided and propagated from just two plants. And I have them all over the house because they are very good plants. They grow tall and stay in one area. They don't bush out. This is a arrowhead. I got it because the leaves are kind of heart shaped and I put it in a special teacup. I'm hoping to put uh, the chain of hearts in that teacup later. And then this is my Dracaena. I got it green. I got a green plant here. Hopefully the, with all the chlorophyll it can handle the low light. I don't usually keep these lamps on. And This is one of my favorite vases. This is a Satsuma vase. It's probably almost 100 years old. I don't know how old this face is, and this face is probably just from the 1970s. This wall unit is several generations old. Oh, and these are the wrought iron storks with the copper patina finishing. Uh, I put it, I put three outside, and they all flew away. I was so upset that I had to buy replacements, so that was that cost a pretty penny. And on the other end of this wall unit, I have a little spider plant. I have many propagations of these. And these glass balls around the spider plant, these are from Japanese fishing boats that used to poach off of Hawaiian waters when I was a young kid. And my grandfather found those on the beaches. And uh, so I have them. And I'm always propagating uh, philodendrons because they're great plants. They can handle low light. And pothos, this is one of my many propagations of pothos. And this is my new Chinese evergreen. I didn't like evergreens until I found out that they have pink and red versions. So this is my great room. And this is the wall unit in the great room. This is the guest bathroom right off of the great room. Uh, this is my arrowhead. I like the green arrowhead and that's my ZZ plant. The ZZ plants are great plants for low light areas. In higher light they'll grow fast and they'll grow big. In low light they don't do anything but they, they don't die. And then I have a peaches and cream arrowhead that's supposed to turn more, actually it's strawberry and cream, strawberry and cream arrowhead that's supposed to turn more strawberry with the lower light. So I, uh, I'm expecting this plant to grow really strawberry-ish. And of course another philodendrons because philodendrons clean the air and they're easy to propagate and they can tolerate low light. This is the master bathroom and this is my favorite sense of area. Um, sorry about the table. It's old. It's, it's probably over 10 years old. This plant is so sculptural, so architectural. I just love this plant. And uh, of course I have my um, pothos. I have the, I think that's the jade and pearl and I have the mother plant of the pothos. And this is the, the red version of the Chinese evergreen. This is such a sturdy little plant. These leaves are so nice and firm and it only gets low light. There's only a small window over here and I just love this plant. This is the bathroom. The begonia is a new thing. I don't like begonias. They remind me of weeds but you know this is where I usually kill an orchid and orchids are $20. Begonia is only $7. This is my starfish um, sense of area. I love the starfish family and this is uh, well, I have a lot of propagations of my um, alloy. I love this Brazil philodendron. I have it on a glass vase because I don't like making holes in the ceiling. And then I, of course, I have um, 
snake plants everywhere. And uh, pothos and um, uh, spider plants I have all over the house. I've been propagating them. In fact, uh, for a little variety, I got this new plant, this Peperonia Little Fantasy. It's green. Hopefully, I can handle. Hopefully, I can handle the low light. This is a room that I haven't been able to change since becoming a widow. This is a bromeliad. It's supposed to be a good air purifier, just like a lot of other plants. And this looks like a bromeliad, but this is a roeo. And but it's a happy, happy lavender variegated plant and the, this is a pothos a trusty pothos the golden pothos and it, it trails it just looks more lively when it trails and that's my Thanksgiving cactus after I put it in the room all the blooms all the blossoms all the buds just fell off this is my butterfly pants plant my butterfly plant it's some kind of false shamrock. It has a another name. I just can't think of it. This is another pothos. I just love pothos. Um, and I'm gonna show you this. This I got off the internet and cost was well, pretty pricey because we live in Hawaii. And I, I'm hoping to propagate a lot of these. These are the a string of hearts, and I I like the meaning behind the string of hearts, and I think it looks good. And then um, this is one of my favorite peace lilies and I think this is before I uh, actually oh no this is when I forgot it in the koi pond but um this is this is a special room these are some of the other plants and I this is my pothos collection uh, of course this is uh, pothos that I propagated about two weeks ago and then I just filled in the top I I love this plant it's so easy to propagate it and it looks beautiful this is a pothos that I just was just scrapped that I just threw in an old uh, Starbucks cup and put it in this vase and look how beautiful this one came and this is my favorite pothos plant the marble queen it took me a while to figure out where to place this plant because I like when the variegation is light like watercolor look how beautiful it is I, I love it when it's this color if you uh, put it in bright Sun then I'll have harsh uh, colorations harsh variegations and it, I guess it looks good but I really like the softer tones uh, I felt a little foolish buying a prothos because I have so many pothos but this Four inch pot goes great in this vase and I keep a cold collection of cobalt blue glass uh, in the middle of my pass through between the kitchen and the great room so this goes great over there this is the um, Jaden pearl pothos I have it in another blue vase that I keep in the pass through this golden potho is the mother of all my propagated pothos it's in my bedroom so it doesn't get that much light so the variegations is much less. I keep it on a thrift store find, uh, a candle holder that works perfect as a plant stand. These are a few other plants that I have in my house. Uh, the one in the far left, oh, I guess we're starting on the right. This is my pink Chinese evergreen. I treated it because it was um, infested with uh, mealybugs and ever since I treated it uh, no more mealybugs so I'm happy about that I found this um, this I don't know what this is maybe a pot or something um, I found this and it was perfect for a plant stand I'm always looking for things to um, use as a plant stand because I think the plants look better when they're higher and I just had to spray the top of this pot to fit into this I guess this is um, a soup bowl and then I have a lot of these um, uh, I have a lot of these uh, Chinese pots and I did the same thing with uh, this pot I just sprayed the top uh, to make it less obvious that there's a pot inside this pot you know, it doesn't fit perfectly but it fits good enough then I propagated a whole bunch of these uh, spider plants and I keep this in one of my grandson's rooms this 
looks like I think it's a waste basket but if it was a waste basket it was a high quality waste basket and I just sprayed it on with some textured beige paint and it looks perfect it looks good I just keep it in the um, in my grandson's room and it looks great and these are other plants that are in my house some of the projects that I recently done and they're in videos that I made um, I watched some other house tour plant videos and their homes are just filled with plants I thought I had a lot of plants and uh, well I do I do anyway these are the plants that I have in my home I may have a few others thank you for watching I appreciate you watching please like this video please subscribe to my channel and uh, aloha